Hey, welcome back everyone for some more Super Mario Maker viewer levels. Sorry that my voice kind of went there, but um, anyway, I wanted to show off a couple more viewer levels, so without further ado, let's go. Now, I do have to admit, both the levels that I'm going to feature in this video were not submitted to me. That's just levels that I, I managed to find just because... Well, the first level I'm going to play is a Lost Erosion level. And the level code that he actually submitted me in the comments, for some reason, came up as a 404 error and then it said that it wasn't found. So I just went through his levels and I decided to play one that I saw being played on the stream. And I figured, you know what, this level looks pretty fun, so I'm going to try it myself. And this level is Charge of the Charmander. Which is pretty funny because I have a Squirtle-centric level that I made a while back, and now I'm playing a Charmander-centric uh, one. And as you see here, here's another speedrun level. And I do have to say, you must keep the Charmander costume in order to reach the end of the stage. Because like I said before, I've seen this level being played on a live stream, so... I really wasn't surprised at all exactly what I had to do. But it looked pretty fun, so I figured, you know what, I'm gonna try to tackle this, even though I'm not real particularly good at these type of levels. But as you can see, here's... The ice and spikes that, and munchers that um, Lost Erosion levels have, and it's also a speedrun level, like I just said, too. But yeah, I thought I'd give this level an earnest attempt here, which. When it comes to viewer levels, which I'm pretty sure you guys know this from other installments of the series. I like to give this each level that I, I that gets submitted to me at least a solid five minutes to do before I move on to another one or I can't complete it or whatnot. So I do want to give each level a fair shot. Though so technically this one was not submitted to me because, like I said, the level the level code he gave me just did not work. But I figured, you know what? He took the time out to submit a level code to me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just pick a level that I think I would enjoy of his. And, despite me having difficulties in this level, I do really enjoy this one a lot. And the timer is pretty tight here, so, well, at least I think it's tight from what I've seen on the live stream, so... Yeah, you really do have to be quick here, which, it's a speed limit, that kind of goes with the territory, but... There's another costume there in case you need it. As you can see, there's the costume check right there. And I really, really needed to be much quicker in order to go down that pipe and reach the end. And just so there's no surprises, that's the furthest I go to get on this level. <laughs> I don't get any further than that. As a matter of fact, not only don't I get any closer to that, I don't even come close to getting as far as that. But like I said, I like to give this le each level that I play in the series a good five minutes before I quit, unless unless it's something like a technique that I just don't know, or a puzzle level, or something that would be oh, considered Kaizo. I really, when it comes to stuff like that, I don't spend a whole lot of time on it, just simply because I don't have the skill set for that kind of thing. But when it comes to levels like this, I want to at least give it a nice attempt, at least try to beat it. But yeah, I can tell you offhand that, um, from experience, that this level is much harder than it looks. As a matter of fact, the person that I saw play this on a live stream, I'm pretty sure it took them like a half an hour or 35 minutes to beat this stage, so... Yeah, this stage is no joke. And like I said before, you do have to be quick here, because the timer is pretty tight. I mean, it's not the tightest timer I've ever seen, but you do have to hustle. Yeah, I'm not gonna do this much longer here, because it, it is getting close to the five minute mark. But 
So yeah, this is a fun level, and if you like speedrun levels that are, ma are made like this, I know for a fact you'll enjoy this, so... But yeah, I'm not even gonna try anymore. I, I know what my limit is, so... Yeah, good level, and... Like I said two times before, this one was not submitted to me, but I thought I would show it off, just simply because I've seen it being played, and it's a pretty awesome level, so... Good job, Lost Abosian. Now the second level I'm gonna feature is another Dimitri level. And this one is, Can You Jump? Now, I gotta be honest with you, um, Dimitri didn't submit a level to me, he said he was, he was going to, but something must have come up and he never did, or I just did not see it, it just did not come up for me. So I decided to go through his bookmark page and find whichever one looked that I felt that I even had a slight chance of trying to complete. And this is the one I picked, and... I gotta, I gotta be blunt right now, if I can't beat this level, I'm not even gonna beat any level. So, Dimitri, if you're watching this, if you feel like submitting me more levels in the future, I, I will tell you that I, there's a 100% chance I'm probably not gonna clear it, so... As long as you, I mean, you can keep on submitting me levels and that, as long as you don't mind me not clearing them, but I'll tell you right now, uh, if I can't even clear this one, there's no way in heck I'm going to be able to beat any of your levels, so... But if you feel like submitting a level, then please feel free to. I'll show them off, because, like, I usually do. I, people take the time out to submit submit me levels, so the least I can do is show them off on, on my videos here. And Yeah, despite how hard they can be, they are good levels. Oh, no! See, the first several attempts, as you can see here, I pretty much jumped off here and tried to do like a twirl and then sneak in there. And it looks like that he, if, it was, it's, if, if it's not for those spikes and that, then I'd be able to get in there. And I also tried running off the side of the uh, cliff there in order to do a float and get in that way, but that wasn't working either, so... This must be one of those pixel-perfect type things where you have to get everything exactly right in order for this to work. And nine times out of ten, it's usually the bottom spike that I usually hit. If you, if you happen to get this level in Super Expert mode, this is what we would like to call a, a life burner. It's a simple level, but it will take an awful lot of lives. That is assuming, of course, you don't if you if you don't skip it. But yeah, you're gonna lose a surprising amount of lives here unless you know exactly how to get in there. So yeah, like I said before, if I can't even beat this Dimitri level, there's no way in heck I'm gonna beat any of his. I can say that with much confidence, just simply because I just don't have the skill set for the for that. There's only a few more minutes of this, don't worry guys. But yeah, I'm not a great Mario Maker, play Maker player. As a matter of fact, I've only cleared Expert like four or five times, and I, that goes without saying, I've not cleared Super Expert at all. And I tried to do the jump method for a few more times here before I just gave up on this level. So, yeah, great. it's a very good level, and you, if you have the skill set to complete it, it's really fun, but... Yeah, like I said before, if... Dimitri wants to send me another level, just don't expect it to be cleared because it's just not going to happen, so, but... I hope you guys enjoyed watching these levels, so, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys are enjoying this series, I'll be seeing you guys again next time.